Hello, this is Mark Young with XLM Solutions, and today I'm going to talk to you about our printed circuit board solution. The features of the solution will allow you to create 3D printed circuit boards based on different DXF files. You have the ability to pick coordinate files and build assemblies with components based on coordinates. Also, we have a wizard for complex board creations. We believe this really improves the efficiency and expedites the time to create printed circuit boards, and we're assuming that DXF files or coordinate files already exist to create the printed circuit board. We can run our tool called PCB Creator and a GUI comes up. This GUI will allow you to point to different DXF file locations and what we consider layer files to create the printed circuit board. We will now load our layer file and see that we have different layers with different sizes that will get created. We'll also launch SolidWorks. When we hit play, we'll see the circuit board start to get created. And it will automatically build each layers based on what we have defined. If there's an issue with the layers, we can automatically stop and extrude the various layers automatically and then continue the printing of the circuit board. And this is the last layer or cuts for the holes are being made right now. And then once it's done, we can automatically save it. As you can see, We've printed a circuit board made based on multiple layers, including a, a solder mask and a silk screen. We'll now add components to the circuit board. So we have the ability, based on a coordinate file that we have defined, to add assembly coordinates. Those coordinates get loaded into the system, and you can see them where the different reference designators exist, and the coordinates where those will be placed. We can also pull the coordinates from SOLIDWORKS PDM or other PLM systems. We're hitting Build Board, and the components now will automatically get placed on the board based on what we've defined. When it's done, we get prompted to save the assembly, which includes the board and all its components. And now you can see that the board has been created with various components being placed on it. In this case, we have different capacitors and resistors that we've put on the board. And you can see the different components within the SOLIDWORKS feature tree as well. We'll now go through an example of running a complex board. In this case, we have this launch um, wizard, where you can automatically input a board name, different number of layers for the board, and then include if there's going to be a solder mask top, solder mask bottom, silk screen top, silk screen bottom, um, non-plated holes, or plated holes. We can add, then add the different sizes to each layer in the board. We can default sizes and or automatically um, populate the sizes based on a, a size we entered. We've seen we're entering our different sizes, and now we're going to automatically fill in both the metal and pre preg layers of the board, and then finally the core um, size for the board. Once we hit enter, we can save those. That would get saved to a default layer file, and then use that file to build the board like we have shown before. So let's see the building of this board in action. We'll hit the play button, and the board now gets start to get built. This is a little bit more complex board, and the uh, timing to build the board will take a little bit longer based on all the layers.
and there's about six different, actually about 12 different layers on this board. So we're going through all the top layers first, and then we'll work on the bottom layers. board is almost completed. It completed, now we get prompted to save it. And confirmation it was saved. Now we can look at the board and see, see it being created with its uh, various layers. Um, being developed, you know, being built, and holes as well. You can zoom in on the board and see some more detail of, of the intricacies of the board being designed as well. Um, so that's the board. This to review our printed circuit board solution allows you to import a layer file, create a wizard. If the layer file doesn't meet your needs, you can automatically adjust the, the values and the order of it get, getting built. We can uh, do pick and place and lo load coordinate files and then load the uh, coordinates from different PLM systems or from a directory structure. We also have a bunch of configuration settings to tell the system you know, where to look for DXF files, where to look for layer files, what to save the board as, et cetera. And then finally, we have the ability to output a log file regarding the design of the board. Thank you very much for watching this presentation on creation of PC boards within SolidWorks. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at XLM Solutions per our contact information displayed. Thank you very much.